So what are the best ways you can earn those runes post 1.04 patch? Many instances have been nerfed, some still remain and today I cover all the best rune farms. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this is meant for every kind of player, new, old, new game plus players, this is for you all. So runes in this game are super important as you know, but with the, the many patches that are dropping on the game, uh, it seems as though a lot of these rune farms are being nerfed out, patched out, but some still remain. Some you can absolutely exploit and earn millions of runes, and today I cover all. Now firstly guys, for the people um, who are basically new players to the game, I post a full guide in the video description because I did it on a new player just on the basis of uh, showcasing it that it can be done for new players there is a dragon which you can farm if you come to Fort Faroff this grace point which you're seeing on screen now upon you coming here guys there is a sleeping dragon that you can kill if you have a bleed or a blood loss build up weapon you can kill this dude super super quick i'd say well i say super quick it's going to take you about four or five minutes as a new player but you can get 70k runes out of this dude now if you time it correctly and uh, you kill him mount your horse or kill him from on your horse on your mount and run back to the grace point if you do it quick enough guys you'll get the runes but when you stand up at the grace point the dragon will be there for you to farm again now obviously end game players can do this much much quicker because of incantations and spells you can use to buff your damage this or that and the other but a lot of them ain't available to new players but hey that is by far the best new player farm in the game there's no two which ways about it now every other farm in this video guys is more or less it takes place within the Siofa river area the Margwin dynasty mausoleum area this area here guys is full and i mean full of the best room farms in this game there's no two which ways about it now actually getting here um you can do this as a new player you can do it as an old player um so basically when you start the game as a new player you come out of that door right there the first grace point you will see guys is this one right here activate it on your left hand side you'll see an npc this is the white faced avari he has a quest line which rewards you this right here, the Pure Blood Knight's Medal. If you use this, guys, it takes you directly to that area. Now, if you've accidentally killed him, the White Face Varu, because you can kill him, if you've accidentally killed him, guys, you have to wait until almost end game. Up here. Within this area right here, guys, the hidden path to the Halling Tree, there's a teleporter right there. That takes you down to this area but to gain access to this area guys it's a trek it really is you need a well you firstly need the dectus medallion to get, to get an access to this area here the capital get the dectus medallion i mean if you search youtube for a guide i want to keep this brief guys because obviously it's going to be take the video is going to go on for ages if i explain everything in deep detail but hey dectus medallion access this lift you can then come up to the capital there's a few bosses here guys you have to take out um, once you do that you get access to this place a forbidden lounge you can then come up to the grand lift of the road then have access to this area here the mountain tops of the giants you can't go up there quite yet you then have to come up to castle soul defeat the boss of this castle commander Niall. he gives you one half of another medallion the other half comes from an npc back down here uh, the village of the Albinorix. There's a guy within this area, guys. Um, he's sitting in like a basket. If you hit the basket, punch it. Don't use a weapon on it. It could kill him. Clear his dialogue. He gives you the other half of this Halic Tree Medallion. Come back to the Grand Lift of Road. Press the left or right in the D-pad. You can gain access to the hidden path to the Halic Tree. And then, guys, you just come to a teleporter which is located right here. It really is that simple. But like I said, it's endgame. It is end game, but again, guys, white face via request. I'll link in the video description, which gives you the pure blood knights medal, and I'll also link another video in the video description, which explains in more detail how you get to the teleporter. 
Both again, guys, like I said, gives you access to this incredible area here, which we're going to go to now using a Pure Blood Knights medal. Now, what I will say is, guys, I mean, a lot of players will already know this, but I mean, a lot of players will already know everything I'm going to explain today. But this is more so for the the people still trying to experiment with rune farming, trying to find new rune farms for new players, uh, for not so high players. So yes, but hey, the best spot in the entire game for farming runes is this place here, this grace point, the palace approach ledge road. There is a there's a hill here, which is full of ads. Certain weapons in the game can take out all the ads in seconds. The best weapon to do this is a weapon you get rewarded for completing the game upon getting the remembrance from the Alden Beast. The Alden Beast is the last boss. Take his remembrance to two fingers at the round table. Cash it in for the Relic Sword. The Relic Sword, guys, is capable of this. And this, guys, used on that hill, which I'll showcase you in a quick second, takes out all the ads, giving you tons of runes. Another way to boost runes, guys, is to get the Gold Scarab. The Gold Scarab comes from a boss within this cave right here, the Abandoned Cave. Come here, guys. Um, defeat the boss at the bottom, you get the Gold Scarab. Simple as that. You can also boost your rune gains uh, by using the Gold Pickle with Foul Feet. Um, these can be crafted. You can buy these from patches. Uh, again, I'll link a guide in the video description if you're interested in that. I don't really use them. I think I, you get enough with, the, with just the Gold Scarab. But hey, if you want extra, you know what you gotta do. So upon using your Pure Blood Knights medal, you're spawning at this location right here. Right here. Now you want to get to this hill. So what you need to do guys is jump on your horse and follow this path I take. And like I said, many, many folks will have seen what I'm going to showcase today. But like I said, I want to I wanna keep everybody informed. That includes new players. So yes, this information may be old to some. I apologize about that. But hey guys, I mean, even even legendary players, the OG players who've been playing from day one, might learn one or two things from some of the rune farms I'm going to showcase today. So yeah, just follow the path I've taken here. You come up to this hill. This is the hill, guys, that is full of the ads. Full of the ads. Like I said, you can take all these out in quite a short amount of time, even if you don't have the relic sword and i'll show you how so this is the grace guys and this grace is the one where all that magic happens from so with the relic sword in hand this is how it works like i said though new players won't have this you simply come here gold scarab uh, equipped swing and you get an absolute shed of runes it's abs a shed load of them simple as that Run back to the grace point guys sit back down stand back up and badoom, they're all respawned. Now, there's a couple other weapons you can do this with. Take that off. We've got the Star Scourge Greatsword. This is rewarded from you guys, for you guys when you defeat Radan, who is located right here. Defeat him, you get his remembrance. Go to your two fingers within the round table. Uh, cash it in and pick this weapon. A great, great weapon. Level it up, guys. And this can also be used on this hill i mean it ain't as good as the relic sword but it still gets to work i mean you suck them all in spam that attack ba boom take them all out simple as that run down here do exactly the same try and dodge them attacks off because they they do some serious damage to you ba boom simple as that guys and there you go an absolute shed load of runes run back up to the grace reset Simple. Now there is another weapon which I do prefer over the Radan's great sword. Uh, it's not good as a relic sword, but hey. And that is, guys, this one right here. It's Morgan's Sacred Spear. This guy's again has a great area of effect attack. So basically, stand amongst the middle of him, and you just do madness damage. Absolute mad damage. I mean, mine's leveled up. But hey, that's what you gotta do, people. That's what you gotta do if you want this shit to be efficient. That's what you gotta do. I mean, there's probably countless spells as well, which can take out all these ads. I mean, it's been a, quite a while since I've messed around with a mage build and this and the other. 
But yeah, as you can see, still super, super efficient in getting to work. But yes, guys, those three weapons there, and there's probably many more. I'm pretty sure people in the comment section will help you out. Just, you can see that guy there. You can see that phantom there that's taking them all out with a relic sword. But yeah, like I said, there's probably many other weapons in the game, which uh, you can do the same thing with. Now there's also guys, if you don't know, which I'm pretty sure you do, the also legendary bird farm. The bird farm, which I'll show you now, it's got to put on a crossbow. It happens from this spot too. So bolts go here. So from this grace point guys, so what we'll do is let me just actually put on my uh, bow, two hand it. If you sit down, from this actual grace point and come up here guys this is the position that i always use come to this gap and you'll see that there is a bird right there if you shoot between the sea you can see that sea there that that branch is a sea if you're quick enough and you hit the bird he'll run off the map giving you upwards of 13k runes so let me just get the the thing that i ain't done this in quite a while to be honest so yeah you run to this actual spot watch me miss because i'm a noob aim for the sea and I, my, my analog so sensitive shoot him up his ass and you'll see he will run off the map and you'll see the amount of runes i get as soon as he starts falling guys you can run and sit down and stand back up you'll still get the runes you can see i got 13k for that it isn't as fast as the hill if, with the three weapons that i showcase to you but it is a quick spot it is a quick method but yeah it's just another way guys you can earn those runes quite easily and there we have it that's the uh, bird uh, farm you've probably heard a lot about Another way guys is an actual exploit. Now there's actually three or four of them on the map I'll show you. Um, and it is basically jumping off the map, swinging and earning runes for basically not having to kill anything. How this works is, and I'll showcase it to you. Make sure you have a weapon in your hand, your right hand. And like I said, there's about three or four spots I'll showcase to you guys um, where you can do this. I'll show you the easiest one at the end it's actually the, the latest one found but here we have this spot here which is basically the same grace point guys this grace point right there from here you basically want to scour up these rocks now this one can be a little tricky and it actually nerfed these out of the game so they're probably going to nerf these two jump left jump right and then get up here go across here guys jump across here and jump up here now this is actually bizarre i ain't going to jump off the map now but you'll get there just in a quick second of how this works when I do get to the last one, the latest one found. You basically come to the edge, guys. You'll double jump off here and swing your weapon. Keep swinging. The swinging cancels out the death animation so you don't die. And what happens is you fall so far down, the actual map despawns and the adds fall down and die. Therefore, you get their runes. And you can get... I'm not on New Game Plus. On New Game Plus, it'll be way more. On Standard which i'm on now i get about 170 from this spot there's another spot which i'll show you in a second i get almost 200k but yeah there's quite a few of these spots on this map guys and they're all just as efficient as each other so what we're going to do guys is we're going to go back to this spot so we're going to go back again and use the pure blood knights medal so i'm making this and recording this on the basis of people not having all the grace points Sample as that people, simple as that. Now that one there is relatively tricky to get up to. Um, you have to get the, I've done it so many times, I know exactly what I'm doing. Uh, there's a couple, two, there's two, two here in this one spot, which are kind of tricky too. But the last spot that's recently been found is probably the easiest. What we first want to do guys is actually activate this grace point if you haven't already. So let's come around here and activate this grace point. Get it. Okay, so then from this grace point, guys, turn back on yourself. Because what you need to do is when you actually jump off, you need to actually go to a grace point. And I'll showcase it to you in a second. Like I said, I want to show you how to get up there first, the certain spots. And then I'll show you how it actually works. So another spot we can get up is this way right here. So you want to climb up on this route. Try not to fall down. So you want to go up on, on there. This one's a little bit tricky. At first, you know, I found this easy. When I originally covered it, it was easy, and then I had trouble. And from here, guys, you want to jump. So hug this, this big tree. Keep it on your right. So you want to hug it, but just jump on a quick edit of the video. I'm not going to tell you. I just I fell off to my death because I did. Okay, so I just jump around just like so. 
And like I said, it's kind of tricky, but hey, then you want to jump to your left and just keep coming around this way. Again, guys, you're on a, a part of the map where you can jump off and use this exploit. Now, you don't want to jump off here. You want to come along a bit further on up here. A bit further on up here. Now, I actually found that spot at first real easy. And then I just struggled with it. I don't know why. But yeah, come up as far as you can to your right and then just double jump off and keep swinging. Another spot, guys, which I'm going to showcase you. You need to go back to the grace point. From the grace point, you'll see. But yeah, this is actually, this one's slightly easier. you got less chance of dying and falling off. Um, another tip as well, jump off here, guys. I'll pull out your horse from this spot. It saves you about two or three seconds, you know what I mean? What we love. It's what we love, saving that time. And from here, guys, you want to run towards that big pillar there. It runs directly towards it. Directly towards it. Ignore the giant skeletons, they won't hurt you when you get around here. So you come to these rocks on the floor right here guys. And to your left, we won't actually scale up there. Now this one again can be a bit tricky, you need to jump up on here. And jump up onto there. And then jump up there like that. There you go, once you are here, you need to jump across that way. So then guys, we want to jump across here. Then jump up here. Again guys, you are up. You are up. And again, come to a point on the map where you can throw yourself off. Come up here and then you're good. You are good. Just jump off guys and just keep swinging. Now the best spot and the most recently found, let's go back to the grace point and kind of show you it so I can show you exactly where it actually. It's actually better, probably better from this grace point. So yeah, we go back to the grace point on the hill. Yeah, it's actually probably a little bit better from here to be honest. But hey. I like all these positions, all these uh, spots are just showing you. Now you do exactly the same thing. Um, so once you jump off, you just swing away, guys. And you'll earn tons of runes. So, yes. So let's come around here. Follow the path I'm taking. Ignore all these ads. Do not worry about them. And let's follow this path I'm taking. Ignore the bird. Big old bird. Hey, up, mate. Jump up here, run past these dogs, ignore them, and we're actually heading to guys. You can see the tombs, the gravestones, that's where you want to head to. That is where you want to head to. And from here, guys, to the edge, you want to jump across there, just like so. From here, we want to jump down again, just like so. And then, guys, we want to jump through that rock there. So we jump, and then you go through it and just swing. And this is what you need to do, just swing. So every just every position I just showed you of me scaling up the mountains, scaling up the rocks. Once you get to the edge, do as I just did, just double jump and just swing your weapon constantly swinging. And like I said, because you're swinging, it cancels out the death animation, meaning you don't die. Eventually, the floor above will despawn, the ads will fall, and you'll get those runes. Now this for me, I get roughly around 180 200k but there is a couple of ticks now i have seen on new game plus you can get like four ticks of runes pop up which is wild definitely not work for me but hey i'm probably doing something wrong i probably am now you have to fall for about a minute probably a little bit more and you'll have the runes pop up now what i will say is i actually time this against the bird with the crossbow where you make it fall off the map which i showcased you a couple minutes back this is way faster you probably gain 50 percent more runes doing this so there you go you can see my runes there decent amount so yeah and you'll see i get another chunk in a quick second not a, as big as that but hey but yeah i timed the bird against this and this is faster by about 50 percent so i'd probably put in order as the hill with a relic sword or the uh margarine sacred spear or the radan's great sword at uh, number one and i'd say this is number two and the birds number three so you yeah, guys then guys you just simply fast travel once you've got the runes pop up just fast travel back fast travel back and you'll see you'll have those beautiful runes and there you go guys just rinse and repeat run back down do as you do get those runes and like i said as i jumped off there swinging every position i showed you uh prior to that of me climbing up these mountains uh, the three positions I think I showed you prior, you do exactly the same. Double jump off and just swing away. And there you'll have it, guys. 
the best rune farms in the game post 1.04. And well, guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.